Hey, this is John with Two Moves Home Inspections. Welcome to Inspector Insights. And this is part number six of learning about your well. All right, this tank right here is a pressurization tank. And what it does is it makes sure the water stays pressurized for a long enough period of time that I'm not short cycling my water pump. And so the reason I don't wanna short cycle my water pump is because water needs to move through there to properly lubricate and cool the pump. And so what this thing is going to do is that it is going to give me some amount of water before the water pressure drops. And the way it does that is by compressing air. So if we take a look over here, there are three different styles that are pretty common. And so basically what we have is that this style right here compresses the air in a very standard way. There is no diaphragm, there's nothing going on right here. It's just water comes into a chamber, compresses it, good to go. Now the problem is, is that over time what can happen is that this can become waterlogged and we can have water all the way up into this top section here and that's no good. So that type of a system, what it, what it uses is that it basically uh, is this device right here. So this little device, what this thing does is that that allows air to come in so that way we can have all the water go out uh, and then also it will shut off with this section right here as the water level rises it's going to sh it's going to close that so that way water doesn't come gushing out now sometimes this mechanism is going to get filled up with gunk and junk and other things like that and so what we want to make sure is that everything is working properly whenever we're doing a home inspection and so what will happen is that normally with this type of a well, the reason they do this is because if you remember us talking about the frost line, the thing about the frost line is that we need to have, we need to have our water line below this frost line. And if we are not below, so here's the frost line, here's our water line. If we are not below this frost line, then our pipes are going to freeze. Now, sometimes there's bedrock or other things that prevent us from being able to dig deep enough to be able to put that water line. So sometimes the water line is going to be above the frost line. And then what that means is that we are at high risk of having that, um, that water line freeze. So what will happen is that they will actually install something with this traditional type system that will take the water, allow air into the system, and the water will actually backtrack until it goes into a safe level uh, below frost line. And so if you've ever had a straw and you put your finger on the end of the straw, you can put it into a glass, lift it up and drop it. And then what that's going to do is that right now we have a suction, which is why I can lift up the water. So right now in most homes, we have a suction. So whenever I lift up that water, it's stuck in here until I allow air back in. Now, once that air comes back in, then all the water can be then released and it can go back down and below frost line. So on this first style here, a more traditional style, this is normally what it would look like um, with everything kind of all combined together. You'll normally see it in this type of a um, storage container. But we have this device here. And again, what that does is that whenever, um, whenever the uh, bobber basically uh, goes up, it is closing off that system. And then as soon as you are done with all your pressure, it then releases. Uh, and then that allows the water to flow back down and that way we don't have any freezing issues. Now, again, that is the older style, uh, the way that things are done. And that's still in a very appropriate way of doing things. Um, the next thing is, is that we have this style right here, which is basically a bladder pressure tank. So there is a bladder and we're looking at this one right here. There is a bladder that is inside of there that expands. And so what we normally have is a valve right up here that we can put air in, maybe at 40 PSI, maybe at 50 PSI, depending on where you are, maybe only 20 PSI. But so what we have is we have air coming into this section and that is trying to compress the bladder. And so whenever I ask for my bottle of water, you'll see that the bladder gets smaller and I would have all of this that I can fill up my glass with water before the pressure is so low that the pump turns on. Now, the most uh, standard one that we see in our area is this right here. And so this has a diaphragm that is basically attached to the sides. So if, if you were looking, you would be able to see that this particular one here has a diaphragm or a bladder that's inside of there. This one has a diaphragm um, instead of a bladder. And so then this does the exact same thing. Whenever the water comes in, it pushes it up. Whenever I take water out, it pushes it down. And then that is what gives me my pressure so I can get that glass of water and be good to go. This is what prevents things from short cycling. And so that is our uh, pressure tank. And then we will move on to the next thing in the next section.